Hey guys, Steve Welch, Beam of Toyota, downtown Nashville with your Toyota Trim Level Series, your TTLS. Uh, once again, I am Master Certified in all things Toyota. Uh, I am a Sales Society winner. I am a product trainer and mentor here at Beeman, so I definitely know my product. I am showing you here, this is the XLE Hybrid RAV4. Uh, now, I'm going to remind you here that all hybrid RAV4s are all-wheel drive. So, um, you're not going to have a two-wheel drive hybrid. If it is a hybrid, it will be an all-wheel drive. Also, there is no mechanical connection between the front and the back wheels. It is all by wire between those. Uh, so, it definitely helps you be a little bit more safe when you are uh, driving the vehicle, have an all-wheel drive, and uh, uh, be intelligent for you. So, uh, I'm going to take a look here. Obviously, you can always tell a hybrid, like I've said by the blue in the emblem. Uh, once you have that blue in the emblem, you know it is a hybrid that's on any Toyota. They do that every time. Um, I'm gonna show you here, you have your LED headlights with your uh, fog lights. Your XLE will get your fog lights. Um, that is one of the main things that changes from the uh, LE version is getting those fog lights. Now, I will tell you here, you can see that this particular one, this has a sunroof. Um, that is no longer standard on the XLE. So uh, your XLE used to be standard with a sunroof. If it said XLE, it had a sunroof. Now it does not. Now you need what's known as a convenience package. Uh, the convenience package will have your sunroof and your power up, down, tailgate. Uh, so that's on all your XLEs. So definitely need to know what you're uh, looking at when you, uh, if you have to have a sunroof, you need to know that it has to have that convenience package to have that sunroof. So um, definitely showing you here uh, the looks of this. This one's black, so definitely looks really good. You can also always tell a hybrid by the side here with the hybrid. Um, now your wheel is your standard XLE wheel. Um, they didn't do anything special for the hybrid on this one, so it's a 17-inch five-spoke uh, alloy wheel here for you. Um, very good. You also have a color match, which right now you can't really see uh, because it's black on black, but uh, if it was a blue or a white vehicle, that cap on the front of the uh, of the mirror there would be a color matched mirror. So um, now I'll show you, just kind of taking a peek here, actually, I'm going to go ahead and open our door here. Um, and you can see when I grabbed it first, it wouldn't open. It has a sensor smart key system in here. Um, I'll go ahead and post um, on the bottom how the smart key system works, give you kind of an idea there. This is your black interior. Um, now, if you had the light gray interior, nutmeg interior, your dash would be a different color. Um, and, and also your door panels would also be a different color. So when you have a black interior, it pretty much blacks out everything for you. Um, so it's definitely a uh, uh, black interior for you. So also show you here on the back side, this is your back seat. You'll notice your XLE will have your vents in the back. Um, like I said, that's something new. The RAV4s, none of them had that in the 2018 model year, but your 2019, 2020 model year does have it. Uh, and for reference purposes, this is a 2020 RAV4. So also have your USB ports down here. Um, you're gonna have two USB ports inside, two in the back and one up front that connects to your radio for this particular vehicle in the XLE. Um, you have your center console here, which folds down. 60-40 folding uh, rear seat here. So um, this seat will also fold down just by pulling this handle right here. You can actually pull and you can fold down your seat. Um, this is your 60 side, the other side is your 40 side. You also have two levels which you can set those seats, which you can see I just set this one a little bit higher. So however you'd like to recline, you can change that, of course. So now, and I do apologize for the hoarseness in my voice, but uh, had a little bit under the weather lately. So you're gonna see that this one has a power up, power down. You also have the ability to lock your door from back here. Um, so that's something else that's really cool. Um, all weather mats in this one. Also did wanna note that your all weather mats also now end up coming up on the back side of the seat now too so they do extend that that uh, distance for you so that is really cool you also have your tonneau cover so if you're hiding christmas presents something like that you don't have to worry about prying eyes looking in the back and being able to see what you uh, don't want them to um, also have a full size spare tire so you can definitely see that spare tire spare tire compartment um, this one does not have the upgraded radio. If it did have the upgraded radio, you would see a JBL speaker right there. 
Um, so it does not have the upgraded radio. Um, I'll show you the rest of that here in a little bit. Now you do have four ways to close your back door, of course. You can hit it on your key fob. You can hit it on the button on the dash, which I can show you here in just a minute. You can uh, um, hit this button right here and lower it, or you can simply pull. Once you start pulling, the car is going to see that you want it to come down and it is going to bring that uh, gate down for you. So I'm going to show you here real quick. This one has blind spot monitor. Easy way to tell if it has blind spot monitor is to look for those two little uh, cars in your mirror. Um, a whole lot easier when you're driving to look for it, of course. Um, let me go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and shut this other door here just in case we have a little bit of noise pop up. So we're going to walk over here. You see power locks, power windows, power mirrors, everything. All of them will have that without a problem. Now you're also going to have push button start. So, and you can tell it is running, but it is not with the engine. Engine just kicked on for us. But if you see that ready sign right there on a hybrid, that ready sign does mean you are ready to go. Um, now I'll show you here. This is the seven inch screen. You've seen on some of my other videos, the eight inch screen. Um, that 8 inch screen is your JBL system that is upgraded. That's the one that would have that subwoofer in the back. Um, on your hybrid, you're usually going to see the energy monitor. You can hit that. You can bring it up. You can kind of take a peek at it there. Um, some people put that on home. Some people will uh, uh, do different things on that spot. You can change this. This is all customizable. Um, if you look on my uh, um, some of my other videos, you can see how to customize that, of course. So um, Now, I will say that you do have Apple CarPlay. Android Auto and Alexa in the 2020. Now I'm going to caveat it. So the 19 does not have Android Auto. I've had people ask me, is there a patch for it? As of yet, there's not. But I will say that they did put a patch on the 2018 Camry, which was not um, available with CarPlay and added CarPlay to it. So is it possible? Yes. Is there any news that I know that it's going to happen? The answer is not yet. So uh, I'll keep you guys up, up to speed if I hear anything. But uh, as of right now, I don't believe the 19s are going to get Android Auto, but the 2020s have it. Um, so if you have a 2020 RAV4, um, any model le level, you're going to notice it does have Android Auto. So now I'm going to kind of take a look down here for the next thing on your XLE here. You're going to notice that you have the dual climate control. You also have the ability right here to hit that to where you actually can save energy by not directing air to a seat that doesn't have a button in it. Um, that is a good way to save a little bit of power when you're talking about the hybrid, of course. Um, but that's a really cool feature. You can also hit your eco cool and air, which is right here. Gets you up to uh, your, your hot or your cold that you're asking it for just a little bit slower than what you would otherwise, but it does it a little bit more economically. So um, your auto function will actually work to, if you set this, to what you want it to and hit your auto button um, it's actually going to um, make sure that your fan speed's good depending on what you're asking it to do if you look down here if i get to low you're going to see that it's going to start kick that fan speed up because i'm asking it for more so um, it's going to kind of uh, get you there how you want to get there and kind of go that route you also have your sync button which is over here once you hit that sync button you'll notice that both sides now uh, go the exact same um, direction so the driver can control everything your heated and cooled seats. Now, that is a option on your XLE. Um, you have to have what's known as a CY package, which is your winter weather package. Now, the 2019, um, and I'm gonna kinda touch on what I touched on with the convenience package here. The 2019 had a different package on it. Your convenience package on the 2019, um, the 19 was standard with the sunroof, but they changed that package. So your convenience package has your heated seats in the 2019 so the 2019 has your heated seat your power uh lift gate um in the 2019 now the 2020 your heated seats have moved to the cy package the convenience package is only the sunroof and the power up tailgate i i don't want it to sound confusing so just to kind of for for um argument's sake let's put it this way your sunroof and lift gate in the night or in the 20 are in the convenience package Easy way to put it. Sunroof standard on the 19. So um, in the XLE, make sure you know that. So now looking at this, so your CY package, what else does your CY package have on it? You have automatic wipers. 
that adjusts your timing. One time down on your wipers, you get one uh, to let you know that it's on. After that, it's gonna watch for rain on your windshield and it's gonna adjust itself to the rain. So um, that's a pretty cool feature. It's awesome to have. You have to have the winter weather package to have the feature that has the rain sensing wipers. You will have the delay wipers on the ones that don't have the package. So um, kind of looking down here too, you're also gonna notice that on the winter weather package, you're also going to have heated steering wheel. Um, that heated steering wheel will heat pretty much from this line to that line right there. So it's gonna heat where you have your hands most of the time um, in the safe positions, of course. So that is your heated steering wheel. This right here is your heated windshield wipers. Um, both of those are on your winter weather pack. So the heated windshield wipers, what it does is on the bottom of the windshield there, you have an element. Um, what that element is, is kind of like a rear window defroster. It will actually heat up for you and help to free stuck wipers from the, uh, from the windshield so you're not pulling the rubber off of the off of the windshield wiper and destroying your wipers in the uh in the process so if you have stuck wipers or anything like that i always tell people turn on your rear defroster right here turn on your winter weather definitely if you're going to do it anyway go ahead and turn on your your heated seat or heated uh um, steering wheel as well and so you know too this is your uh power up power down tailgate button i told you i'd tell you about as well um but yeah if you have the winter weather turn that on turn that on turn that on and now you're good you're gonna have uh, everything is gonna be uh, working on getting clean for you and clear for you and you're not gonna have to worry about anything when it comes to um, you know other than the side of let's say the uh, the sides for scraping of course but you're not gonna have to worry about uh, a whole lot when it comes to um, to getting your car clear so um, kind of looking at my notes here real fast, but I do want to mention here that you do have your safety sense system and I'm going to post some information on safety sense so you can take a look at safety sense. This one has the safety sense 2.0 system. There are several systems out there, safety sense C, safety sense P. 2.0 is the one that's uh, the newest and has the most options on it. Um, so you, if you uh, watch my 2.0 system, you're going to be able to see exactly what's on that particular system. So um, you got a lot of options when it comes to your dash here. You know, I'll just kind of scroll through those for you so you can kind of take a peek at them. Um, digital speedometer you just saw there, which a lot of people like with your distance to empty. Um, this just shows what's on, what's off. You got your settings that you can uh, uh, change your settings for your collision system and for your lane departure, things along those lines. So I um, also want to show you here, it does have your brake hold and your electronic parking brake. Your brake hold's amazing. I've done a video on that. I'm going to post that as well in your description so that you can uh, take a look at the brake hold system here. Um, there's your USB right here. Uh, that USB is what you plug into to get to your radio. So when you're doing Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, you do have to be plugged into that uh, particular USB in order to use it. That way it can move enough information between the radio and your phone uh, to make sure that that works properly. Your hybrids definitely have a different center down here. All of the hybrids will look the same, but you have your Eco, you have your Sport, and then you have your Push for Normal. This is electric vehicle mode. This is for trail if you're going off-road. So um, this is different than what the non-hybrids are. Uh, this is the same, of course, you're shifting everything else, you can drive it. People have asked me, do you have to plug in a hybrid? No, you do not. Um, if you're looking for more information on a hybrid, I've posted about uh, why you shouldn't be scared of a hybrid. We'll kind of look down in here, you'll see your other two USB ports up front. Pretty good size for your center uh, console. And I know we've kind of taken a quick walk around here. Um, I'm gonna show you up here too. You have your sunglasses up here. You have a regular mirror. It is not the self-dimming mirror. Um, that's not the, uh, um, there is an option to upgrade that, but that is not that. Uh, also, you have your SOS button. What your SOS button does, it does call for help for you. It is not 911. It goes to the Toyota call center. Um, you have that free for the first year. Um, after that, it is $8 a month or $80 a year from Toyota. Um, so if you like that, you should keep that. Your first two years of roadside assistance are included at no additional cost, unlimited miles, and your first two uh, two years of services or 25,000 miles, whichever comes first. Those are included as well from Toyota that is nationwide um, it, in the lower 48, of course. Um, so this right here, I'll show you, you know, just in case you're wondering, that's for your doors. Turn on the lights. That turns all your lights. That turns in each individual light right there, kind of giving you ideas what it is right there. Um, so anyway, just kind of going over your XLE RAV4 hybrid here. Um, I hope that I've kind of gone over this in a good way so you know what 
uh, one is good for you, by the way. Like I said, you can upgrade this to the 8 inch. If you upgrade to the 8 inch, you'll lose this little ring here. So um, it does look a little bit different for you. So you do have the ability to upgrade that in the XLE. So just trying to uh, give you guys some of the information here. Uh, once again, Steve Welch and Bima Toyota in downtown Nashville. Um, if you guys need anything, please reach out to me. I do answer all the comments that I see. So uh, if you have questions on which one's right for you with the Toyota Trim Level Series, I'm more, more than happy to uh, to help you that. If you have a question on what might be on one, what one might be not. Um, I had a question about something in another country not too long ago. Um, they can build cars different for different countries so i will say that so um, this is a u.s market car of course um, and sometimes toyota can even build things different in different regions just so you know so um, like some uh, all-wheel drive vehicles are not available in southern states so there's you know things like that the deep south states uh, or southwest where you just don't normally need all-wheel drive so some of those aren't available so stuff like that you just need to know that but uh I'll answer as many questions as I can in the best way that I can to make sure you get all of the information that you need. So, um, like, like I said, I am Master Certified Toyota. I'm more than happy to help you guys. Steve Welch will be with Toyota in downtown Nashville. This is your Toyota Trim Level Series, TTLS, and I hope you guys have a great day.